Hmm. Oh, hello. And Sunday. And I really wanted to continue this story. <laughs> Because tomorrow and next week the repairments are gonna continue, so that's why I'm gonna stream today. And yesterday we were left here. Can you hear that purring? It's nice. I like it. Okay, let's continue this dark, dark story. Um. Okay, let's see what's Okay, I got closet. What might be troubling your little girl? I I don't know, mister. And what might you not now know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. I, I'm stuck. I see, listen, miss. Our existence, no matter. I did this yesterday. Okay. <gasps> Candy cane! Oh yeah, because I died. Do I get something of all my done? No. I wanna see this. It's you. Get the sin in a fancy red red plane with it. Okay. Okay, let's let's go this. Hello? Mean a great ceremony is about to start. How exciting. You're lucky, miss. I wish I were on a request myself. Ah, uh, on a request? Finally, now hurry on, the queen is waiting for you. Okay. Is everyone just... Yeah, same. Okay. I just have to run. Impressive! I knew you would be able to reach me. What do you mean? Silence! I have but a couple of matters to address with you, my girl. Firstly, I am hereby announcing your demise, or you will not be advancing further than this very room. Please wait, you can't just... Silence! Secondly, my dear, since you will soon be disappearing for good, I shall pay you my respects. I have had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. As much as it but as much as it is but a foolish gamble, I have made my own move. Now it is time for you to make yours. Okay, I have to remember run. Okay. Please wait, I need to, to explain what's going on. Gods! No, please wait! Okay. It's in your hands, my girl. It's in your turn to claim what's yours. Okay. Eat it. Huh. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill all of them like this. Okay. Now I'm big again. Ooh. Huh? Ah. Oh. What? What? What's that? Ah. Oh, I thought I. Hey, pumpkin. Shh. You shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? You haven't heard the three clocks, have you? I still haven't. I hope I do not. Hmm. Egliet! No! Queen Egliet! No! Remember, remember, just how tender where the queen sweet little lies of a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? No, Egliet! Oh! Would have done this. 
any need to see anything. Don't ask me. It was at me. Oh, I can't see anything. Still cannot see. Huh? Ah. <laughs> so this man, poor, just like sleeping beauty. Huh? It's coming from this big chest. I have it. Can I open it? Okay. X. Touch. Okay, maybe it's in the other room. I think there's other room on the up this side. I do not. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and so cockless shells and pretty maids all in row. I haven't heard that one before. Ah, this is the ah, key. There's another a note on the table. Hide in my dark and heart in a veil of innocence. I swore, weeping in the darkness, confiding with the moon. As the sun rises, I put on my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved by the afternoon. Ah. Blue, blue, I go blue. I would definitely go with blue. Go with blue, blue. Mm. Can I now take the key? No. Go with red. Red is the way go. Go with red. Red, red, red. Okay, I cannot take the key yet. I haven't saved. What's? I can be stolen or given away, and you will live. Yet you cannot live without me. Um. Oh no. Did I make a mistake? Why is flamingos, falcons, and even squirrels? What can all these animals do that silly little girls cannot? Why is one is... Is it F? I haven't uh, saved in a while. A sparkler key. Leave it. Leave it. I want to save before I make my decision. Is there anything else in this room? God damn it. I'm gonna take the golden key. Can I take all of them? No. Only one. Okay. Now I'm here. I haven't saved. There is no save. Yeah, there is not. It went. Oh. Oh. All right. So who's the funny bunny who locked me inside this chest? Definitely it. You're just girl. Who are you? Oh, I'm... i never seen you around here before. How did you get here? I just... I see. Did you see who locked me up inside this chest by any chance? Oh no, I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. That's a shame. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit no in no time. Oh, I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? That's... Um... I'm here to pray. Oh, I see. It must have been really hard to get here. I'm surprised. Not at all. You know, I came here to look for Egliet and all of a sudden I was inside that chest. It was really scary and dark too. By the way, have you seen Egliet? I've been looking for her. Yes. She's in the hallway. Really, let's go meet her then. I'll introduce her to you. Oh. Wait, I... You? 
No, never mind. Alright, let's go. Ah, you are Fleta. Oh, really pussy and princess, okay. Ah, what was your name? I'm Fleta. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know my own name. What? Really? Yes. That's the same. Now let's go, I have to find it yet. Let's... Where's he? Ah, okay. Uh, I don't think you want to see this. Is that Igliet? Igliet? Uh. Igliet, what have they done to you? Yeah, we need to save her. Um, Alright, but how? I've got an idea. Huh? Hold me up. Fleta, that hurts. Stop up. Just hurry. Almost there. Uh, oh my god. That... Mm. Oh, yeah, the end. Is, is she alright? Ah. Uh -huh. I'm glad, but they slipped apart. Ah, uh, don't worry, Fred. I know how to sleep. You do? Yes, will you let me try? Alright, but be careful. Of course. Ooh. There, she is already. Uh, okay. But you tried to kill me, so... Huh? Oh, Egliet, I'm so glad you're alright. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. What was that? You didn't see who it was. Why can't I see what is... That's fine. All that matters is that you're safe now. Thank you so much for saving Egliet. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. Egliet and I want to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really? Can I? Of course. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh, is the doors a house in here? I still haven't saved. Yeah. Step back, little. I'm going to do a magic trick. Huh? A magic trick? Do you know how to do that? Do magic? Aha! Uh -huh. Now what? Huh? Ah, oh, that's save point. Now we are outside. A garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. We need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go, I will lead the way. Oh, uh, let me... Save. Maybe here. Can I... Oh, I like that. That's just an only late girl. <laughs> you asked! What? what was that? I don't know, let's hurry. Uh. This is all wrong! What is it, Fredo? Hmm? My garden! This wasn't how it looked before. There used to be a patch straight ahead, but now it's gone. It's fine, Fleta. I'm sure everything will be well. Alright. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Okay... Let's go. I want to go home soon. Do you two little girls want to hear a joke? Listen here, you dumb tree, or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid jokes. Show me the way home in this instant, or else! Such a loud missy you are. Didn't your mommy teach you any manners? What did you say? Well, who do you think you are talking to? So, so go away, you're pestering me. Come back after you learn some respect. <laughs> Come down, Freda. Let me try talking to him, alright? <laughs> Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's going to tell you anything anyways. Hello, sir, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now and we're wondering if you could show us the way. Why, of course, it wouldn't be... It would be my pleasure, miss. What? Thank you so much, mister. 
Ahem. Now there is a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you ever heard about it? Yeah, I cannot believe this. Can you believe this agree yet? Why is he isn't saying anything? Ah, I know about that one trick where you tie a thread to something at the start of the maze and hold it as you're walking as you want to get lost. I, uh, no. No, no, no. Always think. Okay. You are right, miss. However, there is one that's even more effective. Really? Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It is impressive that you know all the methods to get out of a maze. Too bad you are a tree. Yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I wanna go home. <laughs> Better. Carrying on, it's a truly and easy method, miss. All you need to do is, uh, is place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You will never get lost, I can guarantee you that. That's amazing, I never knew about that trick. Thank you so much for your help. Ah, thank you so much for your help. How do you even know he's not lying? He's a tree. There's no way he would could know how to talk out of a maze. He has never ever worked. Leto, you are very welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care, especially with that noisy girl you have there with you. What did you just call me, you old piece of wood? <laughs> Thank you, mister. Well then, let's go. Please don't be mean, mister. He has been her having helped us with getting out of this maze. <laughs> Fine. Can you lead the way, miss goody two shoes? We'll see if you can get out of this stupid, stupid maze. Alright. You are... Let up. Always have the... Huh? Hello? When I grow up, I want to be one of those scary pumpkins. The ones that have spooky shining eyes. I see, I hope you can really become one in the future. Psst. You'll probably end up becoming one of the greatest pumpkin parts. Fleta, you shouldn't have said that. And who are you telling me what to say? Let's go, I don't have time to waste on pumpkins. Fleta, I'm sorry Mr. Pumpkin. Uh, oh, this is a really big tree. Isn't it a bit dangerous? It wasn't here before. Maybe it opened when the garden changed. Probably. Fuck the right side. But I'm going... Ugh. What happened? I don't know, but it seems we're in a different place now. Why are we even here? What is not here before? No. We will never get home like this. Hmm. Feta, don't worry, Feta. It will be alright. We will definitely get out here, okay? How can you be so sure? We lost and this is amazing, you know? I'm not sure, but we need to say stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. So let's try getting home as soon as possible, alright? Alright. We want to take a rest. We could sit on that bench over there. Uh huh. Hmm. Greta, do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Egliet. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Egliet is always there for me, no matter what. Hmm. I see, I'm glad. He hasn't said anything. Why did you ask that? Do you want to be my friend too? Me? No, I mean, I didn't ask because I wanted to be your friend. I don't want to impose. You dummy. You're already mine and Eglid's best friend. Right, Eglid? She tried to kill me. See? Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Eglid as well. Oh, thank you, Eglid. Um, she is still cute. <laughs> well, let's go. We can stay here all day. Yes. Pumpkins. I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you adopting me? Pumpkin, listen to me. Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside me and every pumpkin now. And every pumpkin I know has candy inside of them as well. Meaning you have to have candy inside you too. 
No, I don't. What is this all about pumpkins? Your Highness, you have come at your just right time. My friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside. No, they don't. I don't have any candy inside me whatsoever. I haven't heard anything about candy inside pumpkins before. Ha! I knew it! No, I swear, I'm not lying. Please calm down, you two. Well, there is only way to find out who is right. You just need to open you up and see... Uh, open me up? Wait, 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 what? Wouldn't that hurt him? What does that matter? It's more or a much bigger purpose. No. Wait, please don't open me up. Then what? Isn't there any other way to check? You can try and reach for candy through his mouth. Oh. All right, let's try that. You do it. Me? Why me? Because I say so. All right. Now say ah. Ah. Mm. Ah, so what was inside? <sighs> well, not candy. What the heck is that? Well, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're a big fat liar. Hey, don't make fun of my way. Let's just step away from them. Yes. Um. Mr. Pumpkin, can we ask you a question? Oh yes, most certainly you can. Do you by any chance know what happened to the garden? Oh my, you have no idea how terrifying the whole or ordeal was. I had never gone through so such an unsettling event in all my five months of existence. What happened? Five months? You see, I was just resting here as always and suddenly everything went dark. The garden was already like this when I got to my senses. So you really don't know how it got it like this. Not really now. <laughs> um, let's go up. Up the right side, like the tree you said. Oh, okay. Right side, right side. Huh? huh? We are back here. I don't even like pumpkin pie. Huh? You're not getting anywhere like this. You've been utterly useless. Uh, what? Better. Where did she go? Okay, let's try go here. Okay, I cannot say anything to that. Scary. <gasps> ah, he the pumpkin king! God. Oh god. Okay. Wait. Ah, he the pumpkin king! <sighs> Standing in the center of garden and surrounded by... Countless pumpkin is the pumpkin king is body burning up in full full of frames. Uh. I'm just here because I don't like all the pink in our kingdom. <laughs> Be careful, don't stomp all our babies. I'm so sorry. Uh. Oh pumpkin song. Okay, then we don't Okay. What do I do with uh his arms? Okay, have the right right wall, yes. I don't know any lines, but I should like to see him. Okay. I'm back here. No, wait a minute. I'm hacking the right wall. There's the... Maybe I don't hack the wall. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Now I'm not gonna follow the instructions. Because I 
because it's not getting me anywhere. God damn. Okay. Up. Okay. Ah, this is new. I need to call the better. Get better. Okay, I cannot do anything to that. This looks like the right way, but I need to get back. But I cannot find here. God damn, I hate mazes. So much. Where did she go? Let's go. But aren't you something? Use? No. This is the pumpkin king area. More pumpkin arms. That's all. And I cannot get past these. Because I would be... Trampling all over the babies. Okay, let's go down. Okay, you said that already. Where did she go? What do I not get? Ah! You stupid tree! Take this and this! You stupid... This pick up a liar! Hey, hey, now I found a way out. Let's have it. What are you doing? Come down. Why are you hitting him? He lied to us. No, he didn't. Let's have calm down. All right. Then why, why did we get lost? It was my fault. <laughs> then why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Fine. Just don't get lost again. He saved side. Oh, that was the tree. Ooh, this is new. I want to check this out. Another one of these statues. Isn't this cute? It's my favorite cake too. What is it? Can't you see? That's obviously whipped cream cake with strawberry cakes. Ah, I see. What else did you think it was? Oh, I just don't know much about sweet. You're not very bright, are you? Ah. That's all, okay. Pumpkins are what, what are they for? Like the right side of the... Now how did I get out from here? Okay, now we are back here. Hmm... Was it here? Yeah. Oh, that's a gingerbread house. Are you the witch? I mean, Hansel and Gretel. This is it. We made it. Um, I'm so glad. Let's go inside. I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. Um, I really don't want to, but I guess I have to. Your Highness, I'm glad you're finally back. Did something happen, Pumpkin? Oh no, not at all. I'm just happy to see you. Oh, Pumpkin, you're making me blush. May I ask who that is next to you? 
Oh, her she's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite beautiful girl. Ah, thank you, pumpkin. Enough, smart talk. Let's go. Oh, all right. Goodbye, pumpkin. It was nice to meet you. Please come visit again, miss. Um, I really don't... As you can see, princess, we have taken good care of your dollhouse while you were away. Good job, please. Just as expected. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's talk all the pumpkins, that's what I know. I'm sick and tired of having everyone mistake me for a pumpkin. But you are a pumpkin. No! I might look like a pumpkin, but I'm actually yeah, identified with the Queensland rule community. Ah, alright. Good for you, then. What? Princess, princess, who is this girl next to you? She's my friend! Can I be friends with her too? I've never had any friends. There's no way I'm going to share my new friend with the likes of you. Now you're know your place, pumpkin. But princess, but uh, just a pumpkin. No means no. You're my special friend and no one else's. You're mine. I don't like where this is going. Tell me now, princess. Oh. Tell me now, princess. Greta. How would you like to sin? <laughs> Din, don, din, din, don. Tell me now, my friend, if you, if you'd like to hear a song. Din, don, don, din. Tell me now, then, what's the rule of spring? Don, din, din, don. Oh, please, miss. Don't you dare get it wrong. Don, din, din, don. Don't you worry, my friend. I would never forget our theme song. Din, din, don, don, din. My most precious rule is not all pretty girls need a kin. Welcome home, Princess Vesta. Please do come inside. Thank you, doll. I hope I do not have to remember that. We are finally here. Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. Is this really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? I had a very special pumpkin come in and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Let me show you, you around. Alright. Oh, safe point. And take some water. Remember the drink, it's a hot day again. Okay. Thank you. Going up your room, princess? Why, yes, I am, pumpkin. I see, be careful not to eat too many sweets or else you'll get a tummy ache. Is that so, pumpkin? Come on, let's go. Huh? Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, nothing. Be sure to make the most of the rare peaceful moments in the little life, little girl. Or it's all. Ah, something in my eyes. But one right in the store. Ah, oh, God. Our all livings here are chosen by other time and occasionally even by the whims of others. So be careful, my dear, there will be times when you will need to consult with your little weekend heart. In order to play... Uh, ah, please, pumpkin, just about already. I told you not to bother my quest with your boring lectures. No, Freda, it's fine, I don't mind. But I do mind. In order that you to never ever say to those kind of silly things ever again. Are we clear, pumpkin? Yes, your highness. <sighs> I think the pumpkin was warning me about something. Princess, princess, I have a big favor to ask you. You do? What is it, pumpkin? You see, princess, my tooth fell out this morning. And I really want to get a coin from the tooth fairy. So would you please put my tooth under your leaves? Me? Oh no, pumpkin. There's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. But princess, I just want the tooth fairy to pay me a visit. Ah, quit, um, quit it, pumpkin. I'm not touching your beautiful tooth. But uh, it's just the tooth. And besides, Mr. Pumpkin even asked you so nicely and everything. Oh, is that so? Why don't you do it then? Gladly. Don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will? Really? Yes. Oh, look at me. I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. Alright, Senator. Say ah. Ah. 
Oh, look at me, I'm so much better than flat. You got it. Let me just put it under your lids. And it's all done. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. You're welcome, pumpkin. I hope you can meet the tooth fairy tonight. Me too, thank you so much, miss. Are we you two done yet? Uh, um, yes. Don't waste my time. I want to go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. Oh. I love sunbeds in the warm sunlight. It always makes me feel at home. Ah, okay. What? Ah. Okay. Oh. This is where I usually think my TV deck is. That sounds wonderful. Why, thank you, miss. There's the letter again. Okay. Are you hungry? Let's take a seat and drink some tea. Yes, let's. Just don't eat any of my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Just drink the tea or something. What do you mean? Sabi girls always get married last. Isn't that right, Egliet? Hmm? Come on, let's see. Um... Better, can I ask you a question? Of course, what is it? Why are you always me so mean to me? Have I done everything to upset you? Hm? No, not really. Why do you ask? I don't know. You're always in a bad mood, so I just thought... You're not a very good at thinking, are you? <laughs> Look, Egret, I made her upset. Uh, she totally does. <laughs> Better... What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy talking, Egliet? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. You didn't see Egliet? I'm so sorry, Fleta. I, I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. <laughs> then how about you prove it to me? How? Show me that teen you the teen you always carry around with you. My pocket mirror. Aha! Uh -huh. So show it to me and I'll forgive you. I No! I'm sorry, Fleta, I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's at a dump mirror. Now hand it over. I want to see what's so special about it. Alright, here you also I still saw it. Oh shut up, Eclair. I have just a, as much right to hold it as she does. But even so, this pocket mirror is really ugly. Hey, no. Why do you even care so much about it? Are you sure this is cold? It looks really fake to me. No. Nah. Oh. Hey, are you listening to me? What was that? Don't just look at me like that. I'm asking you if this toy is yours is actually made of cold. It's not a toy, Fretta. Fine then, here, you can have your toy back. And don't ever dare ignore me like that again, I'll hit you. Oh my god, I don't like Freda. Do you understand? Yes, Freda. Good. Come on now, let's do something. Fun. Oh, night. No. Oh, what was that? Dude, that's the... That's the one-eyed girl. What is this place? This is my tramp room. I made it especially for my favorite card games. Do you want to play with me? Oh, I... Yes, I do not know that. Hooray, come on, let's sit down and play. Take a seat. Let's start. I go first. Okay, I do not know what's him. What card game is this? Ugh. Just a memory game? Okay. I didn't win. Maybe 
Spēc Pēter tāds sīrvīnis. I think. To keep on her cool side. Aha! I won! I won! Look, I cleared I won! I wasn't expecting you to be so weak. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot I'm too good at everything. Of course it wouldn't be impossible for someone like you to beat me. Okay. Do you want to play another match? Or are you too much of a group? Hey! When you say it like that! <laughs> Uh, okay. I was so ready. That was a pretty good match. I was rude for you both. <sighs> oh, library. This is my big library. It's where I keep all my favorite series. There is not a single book, foreign book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fletcher. I don't feel like reading right now. I'll give you 10 minutes to take some book if you want to. Thank you, Fletcher. Really, this is a. How to dance and waltz by Mr. Rapid. A boy's midnight story by Handy. Ah, oh, date book. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night. One that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would make wake up during the night and speak to, to, to the ones that had perished. Despite the various attempts to cure him of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. <gasps> Everything from this page on is crashed out. Look more to me. There's something written on the inside of the back cover. No one around will, around him will ever know about this secret of him. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. This is the only thing written in the back. Blech. I mean... There was once... A little Missy, who was well known for being quite crazy. Crazy. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, opening the answering her every pea. Rather ruthless and powerful, the girl last spread were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved. Embedded in Aconite was her last dessert. Bestowed with such cruel demise, said to Missy, it is no God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Amid this post of the queen who had taken their voice over hand with freedom did her servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Fleta would like this kind of story. Oh, I believe he would. Already seen every book. Fleta, I can't find a book I'm lo looking for. Do you have any idea where it might be? What book are you talking about? It was a book about a boy who could talk to the dead. What? There's no way I would ever have such a horrible book in my library. But I found it just a while ago. Would you please stop telling lies, miss? It's not pleasant. But it's true, I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Are you finished yet? Uh, yes, I already read everything. I don't want to stay here any longer. Oh, pumpkin sun. Is there something here? No. This is actually my most special room. Really? Aha, uh -huh. it's a magic room. It will turn anything, anything. <laughs> it will turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see, that's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. But I don't like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? I like blue. Hm. But I like pink better, so we're going with pink. Then why do you ask? <sighs> I hate pink. Alright, now. What's and learn? Good day. 
What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well. You may step inside. Let's go. All right. Yes, are my three special mirrors. Special? Uh huh. There's the mirror of prayer, then the mirror of truth, and the mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me, I'll show you. <laughs> this is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever wants to stand in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. What's it? I'll do it first since you're such a scary cat. Um, oh mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. What? How I'm not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Um, we'll see. We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be... Uh, oh no, I'm fine, Preta. This is an order. Go and get just by the mirror right this instant. Um, mirror, I would like to ask you who is the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold the title miss and that one person is you. I know, Egret. Me, but I... That's enough. Oh. That's what it deserved. Let's just go to the next one. Oh, I, I didn't like that face. This is the mirror of truth. It will al answer all your questions with nothing but the truth. Ah, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. Ha, I knew it. I could have only been you. It could only have been you, Fletcher. Right? Now you go, it's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know, it's your turn, not mine. Um. Why can't I remember? Why won't they create talk to me? What is my name? That is something only you can find out. I see. Oh, well, that's how it is. Let's go on to the next one. This is the mirror of prayer. It can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Aha! Uh -huh, just what? Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Ugh. Very well, princess, your wish is in my command. Ugh. Oh, uh, just think, when you are eating something like a steak or chips, it just tastes like candy. Well, yeah, and think. Coffee would taste like candy. Okay, it worked. Now I can always taste my favorite candy. Oh, and you will regret that. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. Then I want a pocket mirror. What? What would you do want something like that for? You already have one. Your wish is my command. Imitation of pocket mirror. Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish something? This for another pocket mirror. I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. What? You look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. I would... I want something stupid like that. Huh? Just get rid of, rid of it or something, will you? I don't want to litter in my house, but I... Let's go! Follow me! Can I ask another question? May you ever lose yourself in the princess madness and I shall aid you in your sadness. Thank you, but I just wonder why she doesn't like me. It may take time, as the princess isn't very honest, but only you can put her to rest. What do you mean? Mira? Did I have to ask something? Took you long enough. Don't even make me wait like it, like this again. Sorry. Up we go. Oh, this is pretty. Yay! 
can be art. This is my playground. It's where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously, I'm a princess after all. Let's go. Let's play some. Mm. This is my rocking horse. Impulse in that cockers. Okay. That's how he's looking at us. Oh, don't worry. Tell it just guarding my toys. Eyes. Where did the music go? Hmm. Ah, pumpkin song. Huh? Here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's play. Ah, uh, but I don't know the rules. That's all right. Eglid will explain you the rules, but Eglid won't talk to me. <laughs> but does that matter? She can just play it anyway. But I can't hear what Eglid says. Ah, fine. I have to explain them to you myself since you're, since you're so dumb. Huh? All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. Ah, I see. It's a fun. I'll go with the gates from the right. You go to the other gate so we can start. Yeah. Are you ready? I'll go first. Huh? Is that all you have to say? Oh, I forgot to read. How many can you catch anyway? You don't stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Well, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Better? What do you want? Hurry up and it, it's your turn now. Will I die from this? I won! Oh no. You're a cheater, that's what you are. But I'm a princess, I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. They will just pretend like you won. I let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. Sure you did. If you want to pro prove to me you're not lying cheater, then you have to win at hide and seek, fair and square. I... But I thought we were friends. And we are friends. I just li don't like you very much. Ah, oh, so exactly it. That has nothing to do with this. Anyway, let's pray. Ah, oh, answer me. Yes, I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Okay. This door. Can I not interact with this? Just a butterfly. Okay. What did happen to the sound? Dear Riley, the time my friend Claire that wor worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she is still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear Diary, I wish I had twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Is this... Today... As my really son is, so I try to play with mother, but she spent too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. Used to. I wonder if she's sad because what, what is away. Dear diary, 
I wish we didn't live away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and Protter spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Protter brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy in this trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. Today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what Protter said was a heart attack. I wonder if he, if he will be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could play in the garden, but it so started raining up. It was really boring so I decided to go in mother's room because she isn't there anymore. Oh, I don't like mother. What's happening? Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Etienne, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Eclid doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. I, it's so obvious Father is a boy because he is going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Eclid is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories too. My favorite story is about that time when Eklid had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a dead dress. Eklid said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow too. I can't wait. I love Eklid. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Eklid told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid. I hated it. Maybe it was important. <sighs> my favorite color is pink. Eklid like, likes pinks very much too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress up with Eklid and we will only wear pink dresses. But I will have to cut my hair because it's too long and I like it short. Whose diary is this? Who do you think? <sighs> okay. Is everything... So I think up is the mother's room. Okay. Is there a book here? Ugh. No, there's only readings. Where did the music go? I'm a bit scared. No one is speaking to me anymore. Where is she? Save. There. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground, you stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not bad. Oh, is that so? I'll give you a head start then, miss. I will go and count to 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that all right? Really? Yes, really. I'll be going now. Do your best, all right? All right. Uh. Eh. Uh. I think I will hide behind the desks. Or do I go up? Oh! So yeah. What was that? Do I keep hiding? Uh. Hmm? 
and matter. I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Ah, uh, no. What are you doing here? Better, I'm sorry, I just found this room and I, I didn't mean to. I asked, what are you? Where are you doing here? Answer me. Nothing, I, I just. Just what? I told you I want to stay, you to stay here with me. To be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. But Freda, I'm not. You're coming with me, miss. To the place where the ill-behaved girls belong. The attic? What did happen? You've been a bad friend, miss. Preta, don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. Preta, no! I need to get out of here. Um. A small doll, I am resisted. So, all the toys... Ah... We have expected you, miss. Don't speak, be scared, we are not your enemies. Let us just glad you are finally here with us. Chosen one. Eh. It's really dark in here, can I... Uh... One forty one, okay. I don't know if I'm fucking things up. Uh. How did you hear those whispers? What's going on? You're finally here! We have been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. You're the chosen one! I need to get out of here. Uh Oh, okay. I don't know which way to go. Ah, pumpkin. This place isn't so bad, right? <laughs> I have so many friends here. It's a really pleasant place. Okay, what's here before I interact with the Ugh! That was a mice. I'm gonna take everything out. Sartre me. You're our only hope, miss. Okay, can I go? Ugh. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's that door again. Huh. This is also so beautiful doll. I want this also. But like, eh? Eh. 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 Where did it go? A witch! There once was a little witch who lived in the woods near the town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day at the break of dawn, Five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Hmm? Mabel and Dorothy sworn best friends, as close as two beans in a pot. Both, both re had received their blessing from God. 
Violetia and Isabella. Twins Violetia and Isabella standing as the youngest and yet said to be strongest. Madeleine. Madeleine was the town, town liar who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. It's a witch cursed the children. Eventually, they came across the little witch and beheld her older wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful skinnery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Glad and nice as she was, the little witch gladly veiled her secret. It's all thanks to mat my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, said Dorton, brandishing the tool in the air. We can sell it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it over. Overheard with joy, the five girls celebrated with the excitement. However, you must, must not allow greed to tempt your young heart, or it may my van is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. And so the little witch built them far away, leaving the girls to partake of the her magic. Did Madeleine fuck up? Upon her return, the magic van was nowhere to found. Infuriated by the girl's betrayal, the witch promptly sought to go out the cul culprit. They tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared to lie to her. Who dared to steal my most precious belonging? The witch asked the girls, to which they replied. Madeleine did it. Dorothy always says the truth, cried Mabel. Sialette is a liar. Mabel stole the van, screamed Dorothy. Dorothy is innocent. Isabella would never lie. Hmm. Madeleine may be a liar, but I know she did, didn't do it, Excla expla exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Mabel. I'm sorry it was Giulietta who stole the van, so did Madeleine. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercilessly burned to death. Leading for forgiveness until her very last breath. What a horrible story. Yeah. <gasps> Who dares to steal my most very precious belongings? Okay, I. Okay. Need to think. Madeleine always lies. Um. Did it. You let us lie, yeah. Who is Mabel? What? Oh. 
Maybe I said it was you. Divine punishment has been rightly administered. Okay, let's save. Here. Hmm. Now I can... It's not, but I have the key. It's so dark. <gasps> scissors. Thanks. I probably will need them. Maybe I could use this to get out of here. Oh. It's these notes again. You took my most pre oh. I wonder who could have written something like this. There's hair coming out of this mirror. Do I use the scissors? Hey, Thames. No. Pocket mirror? No. What was that? Is the mirror now? It's locked. I can hear every yet. Or is it a mouse? What do I do? I can't get out. <gasps> what do you want to get out here for? I thought you were staying here with us. I, I'm not staying here. Please, miss, don't leave us. We need you, miss. No. You must stay. You are not allowed to leave. I have to leave this place. Uh. This? That was scary. <laughs> what is this place? Oh. What was the last one? This one. Okay, I cannot. Pumpkins? You truly are a special miss. What do you mean, Mr. Pumpkin? Why don't you ask the princess? I, I bet she's dying to see you. Huh. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. Mr. Pumpkin, where am I? Oh, I don't know, my girl. You could be anywhere. I'm... Hmm. What happened to these statues? This statue looks familiar somehow. Isn't it actually yet? It's Feta. 
Or are they little girls? <gasps> what is this? Why is there a statue of me? Uh. Greta, welcome back, miss. Yes, I have to talk to you. Talk about what? I need to know what's going on. I, uh, how did you get off that thing? I... Tell me, miss. How did you escape? Yes, listen to me. Please just listen. <laughs> Say, miss. Will you play one last game with me? Rata, please, no more games. I just want... Let's play my favorite game, shall we? If you win, I will tell you everything I know. If you lose... You probably know what will happen. Do you promise that you will tell me what's going on? Why, of course. I have. Have I ever lied to you? Always. Let's play now. Oh. oh god, will I lose? This is horrible. I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I'm trying to listen to me. Ha 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 Oh no. I don't like how flat that looks like now. See that better win. Yeah, better. Don't don't take your words back. Uh, I'm sure this will be enough, better. No, please, you promised me. Uh, no, I will not let you leave. You can't leave me. Let's talk. Silence! Why won't you realize you belong with me? Can't you see? All of this is for you. And yet, why won't you acknowledge me? Acknowledge you? Huh? You should acknowledge me, my superiority by now. I'm not going to let you go, miss, no matter what. No matter if I win or lose. That I don't understand. Why should I be the one to disappear? What is it that you don't understand? You wanted some someone to play with, but you've never been a my friend from the start. So why would I be the one in the own? Enough! Oh, <gasps> Egret. What do you want? This is enough, Peta. What are you saying? Don't interrupt me. You know this isn't fair, Egliet. Enough! No, this is not enough. Egliet, please save me. What's going on? What's the matter, Egliet? Are you on her side now? You've been scolding me since she got here. What have you done to Egliet? Nothing, I didn't do anything. This is all your fault. Why did you have... Uh, silence! I like it. Please, Eglit, save me. Be quiet, Fleta. Do you talk back to me like that? I don't talk. Listen, my most precious Fleta. Do you remember our most beloved garden? What are you talking about? Do you remember who you are, Fleta? 
Do you remember what I am? Exit, what would you shut up? It's time we stop with this pity lies, Greta. Lies? What lies? Greta, it's not you trying to pretend. I don't know you. What are you talking about? It's time you free us from this cage, Greta. No! Enough is enough. No! <sighs> I am no longer going to leave this farce. No, what are you doing? You don't have to ri the right to do this to me, Egliet. Who are we, Freta? I'm the princess and you're the queen. Don't you make me lose my temper, you stupid door. Mm. No, stop that. What is happening? Egliet. I told you to stop. What's the matter, Freta? Why are you crying? Please, Egliet. Egliet. Look around you, Freta. Is this what you want? What? Was this how you wanted to be perceived? Egliet, that's... It's time to let go. I'm sure you understand. No, I do not understand. Stop saying that. You're scaring me. And what is there to be afraid about me as a dog? You're not a dog. You're the queen. Egliet, please stop lying. Do this virtue. We've never had it place in this world, Freta. It is time you let yourself go, my girl. Then how about you disappear instead? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This is my kingdom and you're my ki queen. I'm command you to stay here with me. What is she screaming? me? No, Freda. What's happening? I'm nothing but one. And that is what I will always be on door. Okay. Egliet? Don't you dare say her name! Uh. There is no other way to deal with such egoism. I believe we are of the same opinion regarding our princess, are we not? Actually, that's not... Egoism? She's the one who only cares about herself. No. I'm afraid our time to part has come. There are reasons for you to be here and Freda is only but a small part of it, my girl. You know this just as well as I do. No, Egliet, what are you talking about? She's not going anywhere. This isn't Freta's team, and neither is it mine. I, it's no use losing yourself in virtuous delusions. Egliet, that's not what I... Everything. You're to blame for everything. This is all your fault. Someone like you wouldn't know what it's like to be left behind. Someone like you. Egliet, please save me. Someone like you should just disappear. No. Uh, uh. Oh. Please, I beg you. Please keep better close to your heart. Oh. What happened? What's going on? Tessa, you told me we were, we were, we were friends. What? Rabbit hole. My collection of mirror shards. Mm. Should I? Items. Imitation of Should I use this one? Okay. Huh? I still want to keep you to keep it better. Ah, even, even if it's just an imitation. Where do I go? Hey, Miss Alice, you don't want to save our, your progress? Yeah. Let's. Capacity? 
again in the hole we go wow so hmm i've been thinking so this is the witch's curse or where am i There indeed. Uh, a mirror. As soon as we find a safe file, I think it's a good time to end. A mirror maze! <gasps> My reflection. That. I'm scared now. There's no other way to go, but what is? Who is that? Oh. I don't like this place. I cannot take the scissors. Run. Oh my god, oh my god. Run. Oh. Okay. Okay, I have to go back from there. <laughs> um, road. It was this one. Let's see her again. Oh, she's so beautiful. I like that dress so much. Run. Oh, wow. So I need to turn back? Ah! What am I supposed to do here? Okay. Load. What? Do I need to go to the mirror or? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm scared. 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 At least I'm not seeing her anymore. Hmm? Was this, this the right thing to do? Eh? Nothing is happening. Oh god. Okay, it was not the right thing to do. I'm gonna lose again.
You know what I'm supposed to do there? The mirrors ain't helping me. Anyway. Here again. Ah, oh god, I s ah okay now I know. God damn it. Again. Last time. Last time. Last time. At least you are so pretty that I do not mind seeing you again and again. Yeah. Which one are you? Run. Hey now! What happened there? I did. La, la, la. Again! What did I do wrong? Load! Yes! Can it, I cannot skip this. This is the tricky part. Ah! Ah, oh, shit! It suddenly turns into... I want to get this before I stop. <sighs> I might have to do this off stream or next time. Run. Oh, God damn. Lucky you're beautiful, but still, I hate this. Please and please and huh? yes. How many times, Miss? Please wake up. Huh? Who are you? How are you? Are you alright, Miss? Oh, who? Uh. I don't know. Who are you? Please be careful. You shouldn't make any harsh movements. I like your dress. Please don't be scared. I'm here to help you. Who are you, miss? <laughs> I apologize for not introducing myself. Harpe, a maid of pristine eyes. My name is Harpe. Do you allow us to pronounce it like that? I... No, it's fine. I understand you'll still be scared after what happened earlier. But please believe me, believe me when I say that I'm here to help you. It, it is alright to trust me, miss. I... What is it? Who was that chasing me down earlier? She's... A very ill child. She should not be trust, miss. I'm afraid her intentions are rather 
harmful. No, you say, I see. Please listen, miss. I'm going to protect you from any harm. You will be safe with me, I can promise you that. Miss Harpey. Oh no, please just call me Harpey. Let's go inside now, my girl. I'm so you're tired and probably thirsty as well. Let's go have some warm tea, shall we? Yes, thank you. <laughs> you're still pretty pretty hesitant, aren't you? I'm sorry. I just can't seem to calm myself down. That's alright, miss. I can assure you, you will be fine. Come on, let's go somewhere more comfortable. A safe fire would be nice. Thank you, Miss Harper. Oh, I mean, Harpy. Please don't force yourself. Let's us hurry inside. Yes. Okay, I'm not moving. Let me save. Please take a seat. Oh, secret manor. Please, let me save. There. Yes. And I think this is a good place to end. So I won't be starting nothing new in it right, right now. And tomorrow I won't be streaming, but I will stream when I can. Because the requirements are gonna continue tomorrow. And yeah. This is really interesting. And I really like this game. But yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice Sunday and yeah, tomorrow is Monday so it won't be good to anyone. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!